Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Dr. Glenn Bow, and I am super excited to have the bird eye guy himself, the bird eye guy himself, Dr. Leonard Tao. Lynn, what's up, man? Not much, Glenn. How are you doing today? Oh, I am doing good, man. And so here's the thing. I, I want to lead off with, uh, again, uh, when I say bird eye guy, for those who know Dr. Leonard Tao, you know what I'm talking about, right? He's uh, the main dental guy behind bird eye, which is like an awesome, like, reputation management software. That's, that's really what it is, a reputation management. But the thing is, is that he's more than just the bird eye guy. He's a practicing dentist, has a successful practice. And through his years of dealing with us dentists on the bird eye side, and also with his own patients, he's come up with like a really great system to get case acceptance and to help patients get the, the treatment that they need. And so again, we've been bugging them for years. Like, Len, dude, you got to teach this stuff, man. You can't just keep all this knowledge to yourself. Well, he's finally taken our advice and he's been doing a lot of these webinars and he's got something coming up. But Len, let's go back to, you know, the, these training sessions you've been doing. Talk up a little bit about it and talk about a little bit about the one that's about to come up. So during, during COVID, you know, the, shut the world down. I wasn't able to, to speak. I used to speak about 40 weeks out of the year. I used to travel all around the country. And when COVID shut that down, I needed to kind of figure out a way to, to get the word out. So I created a, a workshop called The Art of Dental Finance, excuse me, The Art of the Sale, which is uh, getting your patients to say yes. And I have a very different way of doing things. Um, and that was the first workshop we launched last July. Uh, and I had about 350, almost 400 dentists take that, that course. Um, but one of the things I really pride myself in is getting uh, patients to say yes using um, dental financing. And I use about, uh, now I use about eight different companies in my office. And, you know, Care Credit is the one that most people use. But it's amazing um, how many uh, offices only use Care Credit. And if you use Care Credit, you'll only probably get about, 40 to 50% approval rates, maybe 60% if you're lucky. And um, I needed to get the patients that had the low credit scores approved and they would walk out of my office not being able to do treatment. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I spent time learning, uh, educating myself to what was on the market from third-party financing. Um, and I saw a huge increase in case acceptance um, once I started using these other financing companies that a lot of dentists don't even know exist. Um, so I created another program, another workshop um, that launched earlier this year, which I completely revamped recently, and it's launching again uh, September 17th, um, called The Art of Dental Financing. Um, it's an hour and a half long. Um, it's, it reviews all the different companies, when you should use which company. Um, some of them have as low of a merchant fee as 1%, which is lower than a credit card. Um, a couple of them go as low as a 500 credit score. Um, you know, a couple of them approve really high credit scores as well. And they have, a, um, I mean, it, it's a really great workshop, not only for dentists, but it's really a great one for office managers as well. Um, it, it talks about how to have a discussion with a patient about third-party financing. Third-party financing is the very first thing I talk to patients about. Um, it's, and the reason is, is because the, the, the monetary, the discussion of money should be the cheapest amount of money it's going to cost the patient and a monthly fee to the patient is the lowest fee it's going to be. So instead of saying something is, you know, $5,000, well, it's a monthly fee of this amount of much money. And it, it begins, it begins the discussion and puts the patient in a much more comfortable position when you discuss it that way with a patient. So I review all of these things with the attendees of this workshop and it's, it's been a, a big hit. And I took about three months off from doing it because I wanted to totally revamp it based on the feedback that I had gotten from the, the attendees that had taken it. And it, like I said, it relaunches in September. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to redoing it because I, I enjoy teaching the way I do things because as you know, in the lot of discussions that we've had over the years, you know, I do things very differently as a practitioner. Um, I, I do things um, uh, that not your typical dentist wants to do, but it works really well when you do it. And uh, I have really good case acceptance because I, I do it my way. And that's what I like to teach is my way. Well, you know, and I think that what people need to understand is that uh, you've worn two different hats for the majority of your career. You're a practicing dentist, just like all of us, right? You're in the trenches as well. And then you're kind of like the head of the dental department with Bird Eye. You're working with dentists and you're helping dentists 
be able to, you know, really get the reviews out there and reputation management. So you've seen it from both sides. And I think that that's what's really unique about what you bring is because, yeah, you know, you're a dentist and, you know, you know, everything from the dental side. Now you've seen it from the other side as someone trying to work with dentists. And I love the fact that you bring that in, you merge that together. So let, let me ask you this. Why is, why is it so important? Why is it so important, not only for the dentist, but also for the team to understand all these financing options? Why is it so important, especially in this climate with, you know, things going on in our country and then, you know, team members leaving and coming back. Why is it so important to focus on the financing now? Because I think that patients want options. Patients want to know that, you know, monetarily, the money part of it is a big fear of patients. Yes, they fear. It's one of the biggest roadblocks, would you say? It's one of the biggest obstacles. Yes, they don't like going to the dentist generally. And that's the first, well, I don't like you. That's the first thing people say to me. Well, I want to say something, well, I don't like you either, but you know, they don't like coming to the dentist. So that's the first fear you got to overcome. The second fear that you, they need to overcome is the money aspect of people think going to the dentist is a very expensive venture and, and we're not cheap and I'm not cheap, not let alone, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the 90th percentile of my fees. Um, and I, and p- patients need to understand that, that if they come to see me, they're going to pay a premium to see me. And, but I, I do something that's called disarming the patient. So when I speak to them for the first time, now I speak to most new patients before they even come into the office. So I will speak to them. I I call them on the phone ahead of their appointment, whether it's on the weekend when they reach out to the office. So I have a a product um, called TrueLark. So TrueLark is an an artificial intelligence product. It answers my phones after hours and sends the patient a text message. Um, They can either interact with the text message and they can schedule appointments um, or they can leave a voicemail. I will, um, I will answer the voicemail for them on the weekend. I will reach out to them and, and have a conversation with new patients, especially. Um, it's what I do. It's how I kind of impress upon them because they, they uh, don't expect someone to respond till Monday. I call them on the weekend. And one of the things I discuss with them, if they are going to come in and, they, and I know they need dentistry, um, is you know when you come on in, we'll have a consultation. There's no, no cost for a consult in my office. But one of the things I say to them is, you know, come on in, you know, have a budget in mind for your dentistry. Um, you know, I, I, I asked them a question like, you know, you come in knowing your credit score, because those are all information I need to know if I'm going to discuss the financing part of it and, and have a budget. If you, you come in and you have no idea what you can spend on dentistry, it's hard for me to put a plan together for them. These are all things I want to do. And I let them know that we have affordable. I don't say we have interest free options because not everything's interest free, but I say we have affordable payment options for them. Um, and when I when they come in, they are very relaxed, knowing that we can make the payments affordable for them, because they if it's affordable, they, can, they will do it no matter what it costs. You know, if it's expensive, but we make it affordable, it's a whole different ballgame, you know, and if they can afford it, they will do dentistry. And I, I've seen it time and time and time again. I had a patient who um, came in and said, I didn't do dentistry because it's expensive. And I'm like, well, my dentistry is expensive. And she goes, it is. I'm like, but if I made it affordable, will you do it? And she said, yes. And I found a way for her to afford it. It was like $325 a month. And she went out and then she was 18, almost $19,000. But we, we, we found a payment plan that was $330 something dollars a month. And she, she could afford that. So she went ahead and did it. But it was still $18,000 in treatment. So you have to find a way to make it affordable for these patients. And I will time and time again and say that. So people who don't take third-party financing, and there's a lot of practices that don't use it. Yeah. And they don't want to pay the percentages, which I think is the, the biggest joke out there. They don't want to pay the percentages. Because <laughs> they're, they're, good, they're going to pay something somewhere, right? You're going yep. to pay for the marketing. You're going to pay for this and that. And you're actually paying for an empty chair. It, it, I'd, rather, I'd rather, look, the most you're going to pay to any company, look, care credit somewhere between 12 and 14.99%. There are some companies that you know uh, are 5%, 10%, uh, maybe 12%, depending on how you look at it. I'd rather have, let's say, 88% percent of something than zero percent of zero and if the patient walks out you have zero and that's my philosophy and um you know i think it's a little bit different and i'll state this for people who are listening if you take insurance and i'm a fee-for-service practice if you take insurance i understand you're already taking the insurance hit um and i understand that and you have to decide how you want to handle that but especially if you're fee-for-service it makes a whole lot of sense to be able to, you know, again, take 88% of something than 0% of zero if the patient's walking out of your office, especially if they have a really low credit score. And there are companies I talk about that literally will give 
um, will, will, it's about 80% of the people they approve at that low credit score. So let, let me ask you again, because again, you know, this course is about to come up and, you know, uh, first of all, I'm going to ask this because I know people are going to ask this right now. Are you still going to do the sales course or is that something that you are just putting on hold while you do this new course? Is that something that's going to be going on in the future? No, there's they're both courses are available. We have we have them run concurrently. So there are a couple of dates for, for the uh, art of uh, the sale. Um, I think there's one in September and one in October. And there's uh, that's a, the art of this. The art of the sale is a three and a half hour uh, mm -hmm. workshop over Zoom. And there are, there are live people have always asked me, what, can they purchase the recording? They will get a copy of the recording. If they can't attend a live session, they can still get a copy of the recording and they yeah. can attend a, a later live session as well. So they don't, they, wow. they, yeah, so they can get a- why, a why is it so, and again, I think this is what makes things different, right? Guys, there's so many training courses out there, right? You can watch a bunch of videos, um, but let, let me ask you this. Why is it so important that you wanna do it live? What, 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 what um, you know, what other things that you add to it? Like, why is it important to do it live as opposed to, you know, I'll just, can you just send me some videos, man? I'll just watch a bit. Why are you so passionate about like, hey, look, I'll send you the video, but I still want you to be there live. Why, why is that? This is a, a workshop with 12 people and I max I max out at 12 because it's literally it's a ton of information, but it's all interactive. I literally yeah. interact. It's like, with it's like a like a mini mastermind. almost. It, it's a mini mastermind. And the stuff I go into is is and, and look, Anissa had her inner circle take my class. And I, it was, there was, I think, 10 of the 12 or however many she has in her circle that took one of them. You learn so much in this and you, go, you can yeah. literally, if you take it on a Friday or Saturday, you can go right into the office on Monday and start implementing the, the tips that I give. That's how, that's how important this information is in there. And look, some of the stuff you may have heard before, but most of it is stuff that I, I've taken in my years of, of, of taking coaching. Um, I've, I've improved myself so much over the years because mm -hmm. I was very different when I first bought my practice. Sure. I look back. You know, that's everybody, everyone that's watching right now. I mean, imagine where you were when you started now. And, and again, I, I have to, he, he's not going to say this because he's a very modest guy, but I'm going to have to point this out is that he, Len has a specific way of uh, presenting things. He looks at it from two different ways as a dental practice owner, but as someone who worked with BirdEye, which is like a billion dollar company, right? Dealing with dentists, listening to their their uh, their issues, the things that they need. He's he's done this. And here's the thing. It's, this is not somebody who just kind of got out of bed and said, I'm going to teach a course on finance. I'm going to teach a course on sales. The man has been doing that. That's been his job, like literally. Like, in fact, it's not his only job. He had two jobs that have been. So again, I want to reiterate that he's never going to say that, but I want to let you guys know that's that's that the proof is right there. The proof is the fact that he's been doing it for man. Okay, let, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna date you a little bit here. How long have you been practicing dentistry? Twenty two years. Good. Look, no, I'm just joking. Just joking. Uh, and and how long have you been like with Bird Eye, being the head of the dental department with Bird Eye? Seven years, September fourteenth. Seven years, right? Like almost thirty years, and, and we're not even counting other things uh, like you working for your dad and stuff like that. You know. We're, we're talking about 30 years of sales experience, not only hands-on experience, but experience from continually getting better because he had to, as dentists, we have to, but he had to ha had to get better also with bird eyes. Well, so I want to lay that out there for you guys. He's never going to admit that. Okay. He's a very modest guy, but Lynn, I'm going to ask you this next question here. And that is, um, you know, you said you were going to talk about a handful of companies you know, obviously you're going to talk about the best way to implement things and the best way to have your team members bring things up, but you were talking about a handful. And let me ask you this. We don't have to mention them because again, that's part of the course, but why did you choose this group and not just say, Hey, there's a whole bunch of people out there. Well, I actually, I, I've tried, I actually list a lot more than that, but I've, I tried a, almost, almost every company on the market that's well-known, um, so these are companies, again, what you're going to be talking about, these are companies that you actually have used. You're not just mm -hmm. saying, oh, there's this guy here. Yeah, I'm going to mention them too. You no, actually no. had experience with them. Yeah. And, and, and that's super important. I, I've, I've signed up for most of them. There's a couple of companies that I do mention that they just wouldn't even return my phone calls to sign up with them. And I, I give my real life experiences of, 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 of even reaching out wow. to the companies. And, and Did they, they know that you're the calls. bird eye guy though? Hey, I... 
I've I've even connected with people in the industry and said you need to contact Len, and they just haven't even returned my wow. call. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, but there are companies that I have tried that I just had limited success getting approvals, and I just let the people know that that's you know. And it's funny because some of these companies are, are very well known. I'm not. I don't want to use this forum to call them out. Um, but literally, I know people who have been very successful at getting them, and I just haven't had a successful getting approvals in my office. And it may be demographics. But again, th these are the companies that I am been successful at getting approvals with, um, you know, that have not had issues with being getting chargebacks, that have not had issues um, with patients complaining about getting in contact with them. So it's a customer service issues. There are, you know, um, merchant issues. So these are the nine that I've been using in my office for a while. They've been vetted. Um, I have the contact person's information. So these are the ones that I think feel most comfortable recommending. Um, and the best thing about it is I know the people um, within the companies and I, the best part about it is three of the companies that I work with. And, and by the way, I don't have any relationship other than um, there's, there's, I'm not, I have no financial interest in any sure. of these companies. I want to make no, that other than you just use these guys. Right. Correct. So, so the, there's no affiliate agreements. There's no nothing here. I'm not making any money on these other than the small fee that I'm charging for my time to give the workshops. But yeah. the best part about it is three of the companies that I talk about, um, they want, they, they're so passionate about getting dentists to sign up with them that the attendees, if they haven't already used the company, mm -hmm. they, if they sign up and they use, they use the company to process loans, they get a hundred dollars back from three of the companies. So, 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 so what you're basically saying is that these companies are paying people to take your course. Correct. Exactly. I mean, Absolutely. come on, you know, first of all, you're going to get a bunch of value there. Right. And then now these guys are like, you know what, let us pay foot part of the bill to take the, your the course. Whole bill. They're, actually, they're actually making money because the, because the <laughs> class turns out to be $125. And they're paying three hundred dollars back. <laughs> they, so it's it's like a no brainer for it. that's why I did it that way. So oh, I, I love it. I love it, and I love the fact that um, that you made that disclosure there because there's so many times you know people. I mean, I make disclosures all the time in Nifty Thrifty, but right. you definitely made a disclosure. And, and and again, it's really important that you actually use these guys. Right? Yeah, every like, everyone I use, everyone I've been tried tried, everyone I've I've, I've vetted. This is not something that I put a lot of time and energy into this. Um, where I've researched them, I've got all the information. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I, I literally put in the name of the company. Um, I go over it, but the, what the credit score needs to be, how to use them. So it's it's all it's in a workbook. The workbook's I think forty five pages long. I mean, it's, it's you, you, you know what I you know what I really love about your your course, and I'm I'm about to put you on the spot two times, okay? Because you're a special guest. Normally I put people on a spot one time, but I want to put you on a spot two times. Okay. But, but, but hold on, you know, you, you don't have to get ready for it just yet. But what I want to bring up is what I love about this course is look guys, one of these days, you got to train your team about all these financing options, right? I, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you have like a team that is a bunch of veterans or a bunch of newbies. One of these days, someone's going to have to train them on this, right? Why not make Lynn do it? Why not get Len to do it? I mean, the guy, the, I mean, again, he, he just said, he just said that, you know, if you, if you use some of these companies, they're going to pay you guys. I mean, they're basically paying the course. So basically the course is free. Actually, you might be making some money there, but again, this information, you need it because you know, a big obstacle is the patient being able to pay, you know, you need it. Right. So, you know, you need it. You also know that your team needs to understand it. Right. And you're also a busy guy or busy gal. So let Lynn do it. So again, it's like a no brainer all the way around because again, you know, why, why train your team? Have Lynn do it. Have Lynn do it. In fact, jump in, watch, have Lynn do it. So again, uh, it's a no brainer guys. Now, with that being said, Lynn, I'm not just letting you just sit there and just chill out. I'm gonna put you on the spot two times. So we're gonna do the first time and, and feel free to pivot and go to the second one, okay? Um, the first thing is, is can you, let us know what exactly, like, I'm sure you have it in your head somewhere. Uh, what exactly you're going to cover, like the, the outline, if you have that in your head, that, like a rough outline. So that way everyone knows uh, what they're coming into. Because again, you may be thinking, oh, he's going to talk about all the different financing companies. No, he's going to go over more than that. So Lynn, can you just like kind of briefly let us know what you're going over? Sure. So I, of course. Yep. So in, in the order of dental financing in particular, so I talk about how to present the actual, so I'm the financial coordinator in my office, the dentist. I don't have someone do it other than myself. 
because I'm a sales guy. So I talk about it. So I discuss that number one. Okay. Cause that's very important because most dentists don't like talking about money. And I think most patients want to hear it from me. That's why I'm so successful. So I talk about that. I talk about how you need to understand um, literally in, at the top of your head, how much it is a month uh, for each dollar amount. So there's a, a graph in the, in there as well, that breaks down the monthly amount. So if I said to you, Glenn, how much is $4,000 a month over 24 months? Do you know what that number is? $4,000 over 24 months. Yep. It's 166. 4,500 is 187.50 per month. You have to know those numbers like the back of your head. 166 so is 4,000. Yeah, exactly. It's four thousand dollars. So I, I talk about I talk a little bit about that. I talk about when to use what, why you want to use which company for which patients. So there are certain patients that you know you need to know. So your team needs to know if it's this patient. So if the patient um, wants a certain amount. So for instance, um, let's say a patient can afford two hundred dollars a month. Okay, but the patient's treatment. So two hundred dollars a month over twenty four months is forty eight hundred dollars. All right. But the patient's treatment is $7,000. There is no way that you can offer the patient 24 months, no interest. So for that aspect, you need to know that in that case, you want to go to the company that offers the lowest interest rate to the practice, the lowest merchant fee for the practice over the longest term, which in this case is a 1% merchant fee. Okay. So you have to, the, the team has to be trained on that and, or the doctor has to be trained on that to know that you want to go to this company first to see if the patient can get approved because it's 1%. So on a $7,200 loan, that's $72 to the practice. You, that, that's all you learn all this in the class. You then learn about each company, which ones have the lowest rates, which one has the lowest, lowest uh, credit scores that are going to be approved. So I go through each, all this stuff here. So it's, like I said, you get a huge workbook with, I think it's 40 something pages uh, of information in the workbook. So, I mean, it, it's a comprehensive class, but it's covered in an hour and a half. So it's not, there's no time wasted in it. Yeah, no. And I love that because again, that fits into everyone's schedule. So for those who are watching or those watching later, it fits into your schedule. And again, I already told you why it's a no brainer. You need to know these things. Your team needs to know these things. And, you know, why not have Len train your team, right? Get those systems in there. He's already done the research right? He uses it in his practice. And again, with the, all the incentives, the course is pretty much free. It's pretty much free because you're going to want to try these companies out. And, you know, Lynn, before we go on to the next thing is um, how, how often does it, I mean, it must drive you crazy when people say, you know, I just use Square Credit for everything. Because you know what? It, it, it's kind of like this. It's kind of like this. Like in my, I'm, I'm going to pull up my wallet right now. Okay. Okay, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got, I have, uh, I'm just gonna hold up three, but I have six. I have, I have, I have like six different credit cards, right? Because, you know, I'll use my Chase Sapphire for something, and I'll use my American Airlines uh, Citibank one because uh, I like the lounge, right? So again, you use, you wouldn't use the same credit card for everything, guys. So why would you use all the same financing? Right. And it's, it, it, it's and, and one of the things I send out is I send out a survey ahead of time. And it's amazing how many people only use care credit. And by the way, wow. I don't want to knock care credit. I'm a huge care credit. Care proponent. credit, it serves its purpose. It, it's a great when company and, and it's appropriate in most cases. Like when somebody already has care credit, I'm not going to make him take out another care credit card. I mean, another financing company, but That's they, like they serve a great purpose. But I, I want, I, you need to know there's other options out there. And if you're only using care credit, you're only getting between 40 and 60% approval. You're missing out on 40 to 50% of your patients being approved through other companies. So you're letting people walk out without getting treatment they need. I absolutely love that. I absolutely love that. Um, okay. So, you know, I, I, I'm going to needle you on a nifty deal, but you almost already kind of mentioned how someone could get a freaking deal in this course right so so again i don't even know what else you can offer because that that you basically set it up to where man literally you get hooked up i love it but uh but lynn tell tell, tell us about the course tell us about how much it cost was the investment and and let's get all the details okay because again guys you can fit this in if you say hey guys i, I don't have time for this dr Vo. i don't have time for it I've, I've been in Dr. Lentel's workshops. I don't have three hours. That three hour one that we're, I'm alluding to is totally worth your time. We'll bring them back. We'll talk about that. But this one is like, what? How much, how much, what's the investment in time wise? You said an hour and a half, right? Art of Dental Financing is an hour and a half on Zoom. Hour and a half, okay. It's, hour it's, and a half on Zoom. It's, 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 a, it's a lunchtime and some change, right? 
to get some training in that you don't have to do for your team. So Lynn, give us the details. So Art of Dental Financing, um, regular price is two fifty. There is a uh, we're offering it fifty uh, percent off one twenty five. Um, so it's one hundred twenty five bucks. Okay, but you know what? There's a there's a ninja move that you can do that you could possibly take the course for free. And what is that? Well, the course is free when you just when you take the class. There's three companies that yeah. that are are willing willing and very able to if if you already or not already not signed up with them, then they offer a hundred dollars back by you literally sign up with them, use their use them to to fund a, to to send an application in, fund a loan, and they give you back a hundred bucks. Uh, three of those just, companies just so. to try them out, and honestly. Yep. Um, Lynn's already vetted these companies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll try them out and you'll realize that, yeah, they, they definitely can help your practice. Guys, it's a no-brainer, man. I mean, uh, it's very rare that uh, someone brings a deal where it's like literally almost free, all right? And you make a little bit of money, right? You, you, you make enough money to pay lunch for your team to have lunch during this training session. There you go. Literally, Lynn, almost the way everything's set up is covered that way. I love it. Okay, so when is the, you're going to post some links later, but when is the date of this training session? Let's make sure we get the date hammered out. What so there the are, day? there are a couple of, of sessions, okay. September, September 17th, 11 AM, September 25th at 12 noon and October 22nd at 12 noon. Okay. And there we are more to come, there. but those are the first three that are scheduled. And one last thing before we jump off. Len, you're very popular, uh, uh, the art of de the dental sales course. That's still around, right? You're not, just, you're not, you're not retiring it, right? No, that's very much in play. Is there a possibility that you may just like do one big course with both together? Any thoughts about that? There is, if there's enough of an option, but it's just, it's, it's, I, so I do cover just, you know, I do cover financing in the art of the sale, but it's mm -hmm. not to the extent of the art of dental financing, which is why I was asked to create a separate class um, for. And just to make sure you guys, this is very important. It's the art of the sale, art of the, uh, of, of financing. Art, art of dental of the, financing. Art, art of dental, dental financing. financing. It is not the art of the deal. I just want to make sure you guys understand, that, okay? If you're as old as me and Lynn, you would understand that. And if you didn't understand it, just let it go. But anyways, <laughs> with that being said, Lynn, thank you so much, man, for such a freaking awesome deal. I love the fact that this course, I mean, you're, you're basically going to train people's team for them because your team needs to hear this, right? You actually need to hear it. If you, if, if you don't know about all the finance options, you definitely sit in. But this is, if anything, it's your team because your team drives everything. You, you're not talking to every single patient. You know, your team needs to let your patients know that there's financing options, that that being able to pay is not going to be an obstacle in your practice. If you do that, you're going to be successful no matter what, if you're a PPO practice, if you're a fee-for-service practice, if you had team members leave, if you had to shut down for the COVID, all that stuff, this one course right here right, is one thing that you can do. You can be proactive and really help your practice. So Lynn, before we just jump off here, any last words to the Nifty Thrifty Nation? Yeah, I want to do one more thing for you and your, your uh, group. Oh. So, okay. so no, no, normally, normally there, there's, it's a per person admittance. So it's, they pay per person. But if, if a doctor signs up, they can bring one of their team members at no oh. additional cost. Oh man, that is huge. That is huge. I love that. Lynn, thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for jumping on. It's always good to see you. Guys, he's going to put some links in there. Go check it out. There's three, there's three courses that are coming up an hour and a half of your time. That's like lunchtime and some change, right? So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Lynn. See you guys next time. Thanks, Glenn. Appreciate it.